What is good everybody, welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we have another WWE Elite Action Figure Review on the WWE Elite Defining Moments 4-Pack Bret the Hitman Heart Ringside Exclusive Figure. Now you do have the option to pick this up, but this figure is a part of a 4-Pack. That is Ringside Exclusive. It features Cody Rhodes, Mankind, and Shawn Michaels. It came in this big deluxe box set. So if you guys would like to check out all the figures in their own individual reviews, you can, just like you can buy the figures individually from Ringside Collectibles, or you can check out the full box set review of the four pack of the defining moments set from ringside collectibles all in one video or you can go buy the whole box set over at ringside collectibles so gave you two different options there much like ringside collectibles provides you with a couple options but this Bret Hart looks pretty sweet. It is in all pink, very similar to our Ultimate Edition we got not too long ago in the Target exclusive, but I like this packaging. Again, it, we've seen this packaging before. It's a modern take on the old Defining Moments packaging, so it's kind of like we stepped into a time lapse or a time machine. And then going down the front, you guys can see Bret Hitman Hart. He's got his jacket on. He looks good, posed there in the packaging, and it goes all the way down to the bottom where it says Defining Moments. And just like the rest of the figures, there is an image of Bret Hart on the back there in his pink singlet, and then it does have the little bio read at the bottom if you guys would like to read it you can pause it now now so far i am enjoying this entire four pack i've enjoyed all the figures so far but there's an image of bret hart there and on the other side wwe logos very clean and tight packaging we've discussed already but it is a little bit different than the original packaging and you do even have the little viewing window from the top so a lot of stuff going on here man but let's shut the hell up and crack bret the hitman heart out of his packaging and find out what he's all about so here's Brett the Hitman Hart out of his packaging, man. Looking pretty dang fantastic, if I do say so myself. I love the leather jacket. I think the glasses look good. All pink, black attack. I wouldn't say black attack, you know what I'm saying. The all pink attack, I guess we should say, Brett Hart here. But using that Elite 94 head sculpt with a cloth jacket, man. I mean, this is a perfect, pretty much, representation of Brett Hart, at least what I'm seeing right now. I can't find a lot of gripes in my short time with the figure so far. But we're going to, of course, dive into all the details, break down all the figures, all the different stuff, man. But you know how these reviews work. We're going to dive into the accessories first and then we're going to dive into Bret Hart himself and then take a look at all the different Bret Harts we have here and take a look at them compare them all that different stuff but nonetheless man let's dive into Bret Hart's accessories and find out what you get if you order the defining moments Bret Hart Elite from Ringside Collectibles. For Bret Hart accessories we do get the leather jacket here which is very awesome I actually saw somebody post this up on Instagram like just today or yesterday and they have this like rain worn jacket this exact jacket from this matchup here and it looks damn good you know you got like this skull spider style deal going on it says hitman it's got the bone and the blood looks very clean i will say the jacket kind of feels like like you could tear it you know it's very stretchy you could easily tear this in half or like put a hole in it so be careful man i recommend removing the hands of the bret hart figure before you take it off and before you put it on just so you don't ruin it you know you take the ruin a beautiful jacket here such as this looks good on the figure and everything and i love having you know new cloth goods for our figure so this is a first time in line don't think we've ever seen this jacket before so that works for me and then and what would a Bret Hart figure be without his signature sunglasses, even though they're not completely accurate? You know, they fit the head sculpt well. It's the Elite 94 style glasses, and it fits that head sculpt particularly well, so that is good. Outside of that, you do get your handshaking Kawhi Leonard Ricochet entrance style hands for Bret Hart, which we've seen a hundred times. I think this came with the Elite 69 Tommaso Ciampa and Ricochet first. That's why I call them the Ricochet hands, but they're also very massive, but they work. And then you get the always sexy mic holding hands, which make the world go round, which are are always beautiful. Alright, so getting into Defining Moments, Bret Hart, man. This is the Elite 94 head sculpt, and it looks good. I like this head sculpt. One of the better Mattel head sculpts as far as Bret Hart is concerned, I would say. But, this is a good head sculpt. You know, I just found the Chase Elite 94 the other day, so it's very similar to this, except you do have the black lines on the torso or the singlet, which really completes it. I honestly feel like this is a good torso for him, but I feel like when you compare the Ultimate Edition to, like, other Ultimate Editions, he looks so damn small. But, uh, I like the singlet. I love the, the graphics and everything you got going on here. He does have the elbow pads, pink wrist tape, pink singlet going all the way down. You got Hitman on the butt there, and then he's got like his designs in black stripe. You have the four hearts here, pink knee pads, which look good. I wish they gave Shawn Michaels knee pads, by God, but all of these look good, man. I, I, I love Bret Hart figures. I think they're so clean. You have the pink star down here with the pink boots. Some of the best boots in the game. The white and black and the pink really saturated. Look so good, man. Some of the best boots of all time, for sure. But this is a damn good figure, man. I know it's very similar to the Elite 94. I mean, you're looking at an Elite 94 repaint, pretty much, but, you know, he's not on ball joints or anything like that, but you got a, a really good Bret Hart here, man. If you're a Bret Hart fan, you're really gonna enjoy this piece, but let's get into some 
some Bret Hart figure comparisons. So for your Bret Hart figure comparisons, man, you do have the defining moments in the middle here. We have the Legends Target Exclusive Ultimate Edition. You have the first Ultimate Edition Bret Hart. The WCW Elite 2-Pack with Goldberg. The Elite 94 Chase. The Elite 94 Regular Edition. And then the Survivor Series Elite, which is really cool as well. A lot of cool color schemes going on. But I'm enjoying this. You know, I am missing quite a bit of Bret Hart figures. I'm missing the all-pink attack ringside exclusive like the original one with the pink jacket and the pink packaging. I'm missing the first defining moments. I'm missing the second ringside exclusive like the King of the Ring Bret. Used to have that one. Traded that away. Had a really hot pink color going on. So yeah, I'm, I'm missing a few Bret Hart figures for sure, but I can appreciate all these. Like the, I like to see it constantly grow there, and I like to fill those holes in the collection. You know, it keeps me searching for something, but you guys can see the differences here. Like, it doesn't have the hearts here. It doesn't have the black designs with the stars going down. Like, you do get some differences here, so I guess it's just kind of PYP, pick your poison there, but I enjoy all the Bret Hart's. I, I will say that these head sculpts here in the middle look so much better than the rest. The smirking one over here is not horrible. This wide open mouth one's kind of weird, but this one right here, I don't like. This one over here, just nah. Don't like it. Need to get more of these and put that over there, because I think the likeness is much better. It really reminds me of the character portrayed on my television, and that's what we always like to see out of our WWE action figures. But I think that pretty much wraps up our Bret Hart defining moments. Elite ringside exclusive four-pack Bret the Hitman Hart. Just said a mouthful. Don't know what the hell I said. Review. I really dig this figure, man. I mean, it's basically the ultimate edition. Of course, you do have graphic changes. You do get a cloth goods leather jacket. I like the use of the Elite 94 head sculpt. I really enjoy that. And I feel like our Bret Hart collections have grown over the last couple years pretty quick like, which is always awesome. So I'm always appreciative of a Bret Hart. I like the jacket. I like the likeness you're getting here. I always appreciate an all pink singlet. You guys know how I feel about the color pink. So this is all good stuff for me, man. I think that if you're missing out on a Bret Hart figure, you missed out on the Elite 94. You like this jacket. There's a lot of good stuff here. But I could see, you know, people not wanting this simply because they already got the Ultimate Edition, the Legends exclusive, the Target exclusive Legends figure. If you didn't want this, I'd understand that. You know, I could see that. I could smell what you're stepping in there. But at the end of the day, I do enjoy the figure. And I think it's worth the grab. I like it, the Hitman hard. I like the Hitman pink man going on. But I think that is going to wrap up our Defining Moments Elite Bret Hart review, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts on this figure down below. What do you think of it compared to the Ultimate? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Are you somewhere in between? Who's better all time, Shawn Michaels or Bret the Hitman Hart? I'm personally an HBK guy, but I can appreciate the Hitman. Also, I just always love that name. I think the Hitman is such a damn cool nickname. Nonetheless, shout out to the Patron Army, man. Always appreciate those guys. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate the Patron members. You guys are the GOATs. But that is going to wrap this video up, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. All the same usernames all the way across. I'm getting out of here. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you guys next time. We'll never